Welcome to today's lecture on the topic of antibiotics targeting bacterial cell wall synthesis. Understanding the importance of the bacterial cell wall and bacterial survival and the mechanisms by which antibiotics interact with it is crucial in the treatment of bacterial infections. In this lecture, we will cover various aspects related to this topic, including the structure and classification of penicillins and cephalosporins, the mode of action of beta-lactam antibiotics, types of beta-lactamases and antibiotic resistance mechanisms, and the mechanism of action of vancomycin and ticoplanin. Additionally, we will explore the development of vancomycin resistance in MRSA and compare it with newer lipoglycopeptide antibiotics, such as televancin. So let's dive into the fascinating world of antibiotics and bacterial cell walls. Bacterial cell walls play a vital role in maintaining the structural integrity and survival of bacteria. These cell walls protect against the osmotic pressure differences between the bacterium's internal environment and the external surroundings. Additionally, they help in determining the shape, size, and pathogenicity of bacteria. The cell wall acts as a barrier against mechanical stress, such as shear forces and osmotic shocks, and also provides protection against chemical agents. Antibiotics targeting bacterial cell wall synthesis are an essential class of antimicrobial agents. They function by interfering with the biosynthesis or assembly of the bacterial cell wall, leading to cell wall defects and subsequent bacterial death. These antibiotics are particularly effective against gram-positive bacteria due to their thicker peptidoglycan layer compared to gram-negative bacteria. The mechanisms of action vary among antibiotics targeting cell wall synthesis. One common mechanism involves inhibiting the enzymes responsible for peptidoglycan synthesis, such as penicillin-binding proteins, PBPs. These enzymes are involved in cross-linking peptidoglycan strands, and inhibition leads to weakened cell walls and bacterial lysis. Another mechanism involves disrupting the transpeptidation reaction, which is essential for peptidoglycan synthesis. Penicillins are a class of beta-lactam antibiotics that target the bacterial cell wall. They contain a heterocyclic ring, known as the beta-lactam ring, which is critical for their antibacterial activity. The structure of penicillins is classified based on the nature of the side chain attached to the beta-lactam ring. This classification includes penicillin G, penicillin V, ampicillin, amoxicillin, and many others, each with its own spectrum of activity and pharmacokinetic properties. Beta-lactam antibiotics, including penicillins and cephalosporins, exert their antibacterial activity by irreversibly inhibiting the transpeptidase enzymes known as PBPs. These enzymes are responsible for catalyzing the cross-linking of peptidoglycan strands during cell wall synthesis. The binding of beta-lactam antibiotics to PBPs leads to an activation or impairment of their activity, preventing proper cell wall formation. Beta-lactamases are enzymes produced by bacteria that hydrolyze the beta-lactam ring of antibiotics, rendering them inactive. Bacteria may produce various types of beta-lactamases, such as narrow-spectrum, extended-spectrum, and carbapenemases, contributing to antibiotic resistance. Additionally, bacteria may develop resistance mechanisms, such as altered PBPs, reduced cell wall permeability, or efflux pumps, further challenging the effectiveness of beta-lactam antibiotics. Cephalosporins are another class of beta-lactam antibiotics that target the bacterial cell wall. Similar to penicillins, cephalosporins possess a beta-lactam ring but have a different side chain attached to it. They are classified into generations based on their antibacterial activity and spectrum. Monobactams, on the other hand, are a unique class of beta-lactam antibiotics that are structurally distinct from penicillins and cephalosporins. They exhibit activity primarily against gram-negative bacteria. The spectrum of activity and resistance mechanisms of cephalosporins and monobactams vary depending on the generation and bacterial species. Earlier generations are more effective against gram-positive bacteria, while later generations exhibit broader gram-negative coverage. Resistance to cephalosporins and monobactams can occur through various mechanisms, including beta-lactamase production, altered PBPs, or enhanced efflux pumps. Penicillins, cephalosporins, and monobactams are widely used in clinical practice to treat various bacterial infections. However, they can be associated with potential side effects, such as hypersensitivity reactions, gastrointestinal disturbances, and antibiotic-associated diarrhea. Careful consideration of the patient's individual factors, including allergies and antimicrobial resistance patterns, is crucial when selecting and prescribing these antibiotics. Vancomycin and ticoplanin are examples of glycopeptide antibiotics that inhibit bacterial cell wall synthesis by binding to the terminal D-ala D-ala dipeptide residues of peptidoglycan precursors. This prevents cross-linking and proper cell wall formation, leading to bacterial death. Their mechanism of action is distinct from beta-lactam antibiotics, making them effective against beta-lactam-resistant bacteria, 
including MRSA. Vancomycin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus VRSA, strains have emerged due to the acquisition of vancomycin-resistance genes, such as the VANA gene. This gene alters the structure of the peptidoglycan precursor, reducing vancomycin's binding affinity and rendering it ineffective. The emergence of VRSA highlights the importance of appropriate antimicrobial stewardship to prevent the spread of resistant bacteria. Newer lipoglycopeptide antibiotics, such as Televancin, exhibit improved pharmacokinetic properties and a broader spectrum of activity compared to vancomycin. Televancin also possesses additional mechanisms of action, including disruption of bacterial membrane function. These advancements provide potential alternative treatment options for difficult-to-treat infections caused by gram-positive bacteria. In conclusion, antibiotics targeting bacterial cell wall synthesis play a critical role in the treatment of bacterial infections. Understanding the importance of the bacterial cell wall, mechanisms of action of various antibiotics, and the development of antibiotic resistance is crucial for healthcare professionals. By staying updated with the latest research and implementing appropriate antimicrobial stewardship practices, we can combat the emergence of antibiotic-resistant bacteria and ensure effective treatment outcomes for our patients.